Hey everybody, welcome back to the Current Cut YouTube channel. And if you're new here, I sure do appreciate you stopping by and watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Also, check out our Instagram at Carry and Cut and our Patreon at Carry and Cut. Really do appreciate all the support from the Patreons out there, the patrons out there. All the proceeds go directly back into the YouTube channel to buy new nice and new equipment to make, hopefully make the quality and the content better for you guys. So today, Jimmy Crow sent us another knife, and this is gonna be the uh, you know super well-known Civivi Elementum, but this is the button lock model, but it does have a flipper tab. So this is the last one of the lineup that I've been looking for. I did the original Elementum. I did the Elementum 2 with just the button lock with no flipper, and that one still boggles my mind to this day. Can't really understand why they did that. So I'm not going to spend a whole crazy amount of time on this one. And, uh, you know, I've already done disassembly videos on um, the other two, respectively. I did the, uh, the liner lock version, and I also did the button lock one too. So, you know, Civivi does a really good job. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about that by now. This knife has been out for a long time and it, you know, caught the knife community by storm. It's an excellent user, perfect size for, you know, like a smaller EDC knife. This thing is definitely pretty cool. And this did come actually in a JG10 model as well. That's what this came as from the factory. Jimmy Crow did his, you know, normal scale die on this one. Just like, um, let's see, I think he actually said... He always sends notes to me. So he did the uh, synthetic sapphire blue, and I did want to show this if you guys are interested in doing any scale dyeing or anything like that. So these two knives were both JG10, and this is using the both, they were both using the same dye. So it's a synthetic sapphire blue RIT dye, and this one was just a longer soak than this one. So this came out like a really nice royal blue. I think I did the review on this CGRB Feldspar, and I, uh, you know, kind of likened it to the color of my our uh, home school district here and it's you know got a real nice uh, not really royal blue but it's a really nice light color blue with the yellow like brass colored uh, pivot collar there so that one's pretty sweet I do love this knife so make sure you guys look out for the um, review on this one but uh, but so this is the same color of dye that he actually did these uh, scaled well dyed the scales in but this is just for a longer soak and this one's for a shorter amount of time so you can kind of see or I guess you call it a cook. You definitely, you boil the dye into the handles. So, yeah. So for a longer cook, you get this color, shorter this color. So it's just kind of cool to see the coloration. This is kind of like an indigo color, almost like a really, you know, super, super dark, aggressive. I don't really, I wouldn't say aggressive. That's not the right word I'm looking for. But definitely pretty cool. I really do like the, um, love this. And every problem that I had with the button lock, the Civivi Elementum 2, I think that's what it was called, the original one with the button lock. And it was a bigger, a little bit bigger knife. You did have a little more blade on that one, but it was just, you know, so confusing that the only method of deployment you had was to push the button in and to, uh, you know, kind of flick the knife out, which is just kind of, I mean, cool for some. And if you're like a, you know, fidget monger, or, you know, that's all you care about is the fidgetness of your knife, then yeah, go for it. But a lot of people like to have, you know, multiple m means of deployment. And uh, yeah, you can't really get anything else. There's no uh, full or anything to get in there. But you do have, of course, you can flick it out with the button. And then you do have that uh, actual um, flipper tab. So nice to see that they're getting, you know, trying to please everybody on that one. And I really do like that. So we're looking at Nitro V on the blade steel. So maybe does an awesome job on their Nitro V. You know, it's a nice stainless. This is probably my favorite. I wouldn't say favorite. I'd like 14C, 28N more than Nitro V, but it's going to be a strong second place contender for my, you know, favorite budget steels. You know, it takes a crazy sharp edge, you know, decent amount of toughness, you know, good edge retention, and it's, you know, stainlessness too. So can't forget about that. So we do have a hollow ground blade, and we'll go over some sizes and everything like that here in a minute. We do have T8 on the, bo the uh, body screws here. We do have a nice kind of, not a hidden lanyard post or, like, or lanyard holes I guess you could say but they do come through the actual liners of the knife which is pretty cool to see our uh, we do have ooh, this is only tip up right hand carry I didn't even really notice that until I'm just looking at it now and we do have like this kind of slanted angle on the pocket clip there and I wish I could uh, I'm have to talk about the knight's edge and see if I can steal his idea about using the uh, the blue jeans like a cut up pocket and trying to demonstrate the uh, the pocket clips I think that's really cool Neil that Neil over at the knight's edge that's who I'm talking about and uh, I do have one of his stickers right here if you guys want to go check him out. Neil at the Knight's Edge, he's a great dude. Uh, he's lent several of his knights over to me to take a look at, and I uh, really do appreciate all he does for us. And, uh, you know, people like Neil, people like Jimmy, Steven, and uh, every, if I miss anybody, I'm sorry. 
people like them are what makes this channel happen. You know, I don't, I think I might only have 15 pocket knives in my collection and over the, you know, hundred some videos that I've put out, a lot of them are, you know, subscribers sent in nice for us to take a look at. So it's helping me out, helping you guys out, experience more things and even help me experience more things too, because it's just awesome to see. So let's go ahead and get some sizes, specs and whatever else you might have on this knife here. So from the tip of the blade, to the back of the knife on the butt end, we're looking at seven inches, give or take. So not a scientific measurement, but it's definitely pretty close. And uh, the actual cutting edge of the blade, you know, we got this real nice finger twirl in there, sharpening twirl, finger twirl, whatever you want to call it. We are not two and three quarters of an inch. We're, I don't even know what you want to call that, two and five eighths. Yeah, it's over two and a half. So two and five eighths overall blade, like blade length, though, they're going to call it a three inch knife. And um, your handle, four inch handle, three inch blade, pretty nice averages right there. Really do like to see that. And of course, the button lock action on these Civivis is, you know, second to none. You, know, you hit the button and it just plops right down there. So definitely pretty cool. You know, I like it. It's fun. It's fidgety. Really do love the hollow ground blade on though. This thing comes down to a screaming sharp edge. I mean, it's, you know, an un inexistent, unexistent. Call it play on words there. I mean, look at that, it just, ooh, that's pretty sharp. When you can do that with your knife, you definitely got a rocking edge on that thing. So I'm not sure if that's a factory edge or if Jimmy put that edge on there. I know Jimmy does a great job with those knives and he takes care of them exceptionally well. So let's go ahead and get out Miss Carrie and Cut's kitchen scale for this bad boy zeroed out. All right. And we're looking at the three ounce, three ounces three inch blade that's you know right on in there so people like to see so that's pretty cool definitely be a crowd pleaser and this knife is definitely that exactly it's a crowd pleaser everybody loves this thing they've been raving about it for years ever since i've even started collecting pocket knives this is one of them that i you know originally started to look at i never have owned one personally but it's definitely pretty cool oh and i wanted to mention if you guys noticed a little something different with the background going on here the old knife joy knife mat a good buddy of mine uh, nick leppard gave this to me he is uh the best paver operator on this side of Mississippi, maybe even the whole entire East Coast, I guess you'd say. We're in southeastern Ohio over here, so that's pretty cool. He drives one of these bad boys all the time, so good dude. Worked with Nick for many years now. Uh, we're a different construction company now, but we still talk to each other all the time, and he's a really good friend of mine. So, Nick, appreciate everything you do for me too, buddy, and I uh, can't wait to see you soon. So let's do some size comparisons on this thing. Let's go ahead and get the pair of three, and we were speaking of Knight's Edge earlier. This is one of his nice, so... This pair three, the Maximit, he's over there in uh, Louisiana fan. I'm a, you know, Buckeye fan myself, go Buck, so is you. But he's a LSU guy, so you can already see, you know, we got the purple micarta. I think this is micarta, definitely. Sure does feel like it. And we got the, uh, I think this is a Lynch Northwest clip. I'm not too sure on that, but I think it is. And then, of course, the, uh... all right, sorry about that, guys. Kind of had a little mishap with my phone there, so I needed to uh, make some more storage to, to uh, keep uh, doing any edit or videoing there so sorry about that now we're back in action and then uh, since we were doing size comparisons so let's go ahead and look at uh maybe something a little off the wall here how about uh, where'd that delica go here it is spider co delica which should be pretty much right on the money same exact size and then let's do the uh, trm neutron 2 so those are pretty three similar size knives right there and then you throw the pair of three on top of that Shoo, you really can't get much closer than that. I don't even. Do let's go ahead and put a. Let's try to space some of these out here. We could do the rat too. All right, so we got three knives that are all in the same ballpark of that good three inch blade ish area. So definitely pretty nice to see. And uh, this knife was $65 too. I don't think I said that yet. $65 for the uh, timeless design of the TCPV Elementum button lock with the flipper so i don't think i uh, missed anything on that we do of course it's you know same old button lock well, same old elementum we got the drop point blade on it we got the g10 on the scales we got full length steel liners that do have some um you know they're not milling but i guess you could probably say it's milling we do have some weight relieving going on inside the scales there so that's definitely nice to see and um, we do actually have a flush mounted clip with flush mounted screws flush mounted clip with flathead screws flush head screws so the clip is inside of the actual 
scale itself and the screws are not sticking up so that's going to be super easy in and out of the pocket completely deep carry there's pretty much nothing left of that one sticking out so for the 65 dollars for the uh, awesome hollow ground nitro v blade three inches button lock flipper ball bearing on the action we do have a of course a great action that is itself a nice g10 full length steel liners you really can't beat the prices that um, CVV is able to put out on these things, and they are definitely awesome. So make sure you guys give us a check, you know, find, go ahead and check it out. You're definitely still going to be able to find these around. They're definitely not going out of stock, and they're not going to keep making them because people love them. So might as well go ahead and jump on the Elementum train and get yourself one. So if you guys would like to uh, check this thing out down in the description, it definitely does help out our channel if you'd like to. So until next time, thanks.